Hello, my name is Dr. Mike Escobedo from the Escobedo Skin Center and patients seem to ask me where would I need fillers, what kind of filler would I like to use or should I use, or which one is best? Well, my theory is that they're all good and they're all good for their own specific use. I like to use various fillers for different locations. For her case, I'd probably use a product um, in this area known as Radius. I could also use a product called a Sculpture. In this area, I'd like to use a product called Sculpture just because it's, it'll fill this area up. And I can also use a product called Perlane just to kind of smooth that out. And what I like to do here, if you notice here, turn your left, she's got a little bit of, of a dent right here. It's called the uh, nasal jugal, excuse me, it's called the uh, pregial sulcus. I like to put a little bit of Radius and I also put a little bit of Sculpture there so it lasts about two years. And looking down here in her smile line, I like to put a product called Radius as a base, and then on top of the Radius, I like to put a product called Evelyn. It's sort of like the uh, uh, the uh, peanut butter and jelly, where the peanut butter is actually Radius, and it forms a foundation for the Evelyn. So you get a very nice correction. What it does is it effaces the the, uh, the smile line and also fills the area. And then I like to come in here when there's a big smile line. I like to come in here and put just a little bit of of radius in this area as well. Radius will do it is actually augment her cheekbone, create her youthful triangle. This is what I call it, the triangle of youth, is these three points, an inverted triangle. And what I'll actually do is raise this tissue. So she'll get a higher cheekbone and it'll raise this tissue and it'll decrease the smile line. So there's a lot of ways to come in here and use fillers such as radius, uh, juvederm, um, Sculptra, Silicone, uh, Ebalance, to use the entire palette of fillers to correct the face. And I have special fillers that I like to use for each particular area. And then one of my three favorite fillers to use in this, what I call the tear trough, is the nasal jugal groove, is the, I like to use Sculptra, I like to use Radius, and I also like to use um, a little bit of Ebalance uh, in this area, and then even um, Sometimes I'll even use a little bit of silicone. So by doing this, um, you can recreate a youthful figure. Now, one thing in her, she has a little bit of a, of a mental crease here. I put a little bit of Botox um, in this area. And sometimes you have to treat it uh, a couple of times just to get the effect. But what it does, it actually reduces this crease here because this line, this muscle is very thick and hyperactive and it has the tendency to uh, cause a crease in this area. So as you can see, by just using a, a specific type of fillers in, in different locations, you can get a wonderful effect.